you guys can see just a little bit quite little finish snow that takes quite a long time to finish so this is what i do in finland we put our children to sleep in the balconies because it's so fresh and they normally sleep for a long time and this is my balcony how it looks i mean outside that's how it looks and at times when i feel like putting her in the balcony so this is what i do sorry my balcony is so full with everything because i don't have space in my cellar this is how i do it i just put my baby here and then i tie her up i remove this one and then i just put her to sleep in the balcony well this is for a toddler but when the child is small of course there are some others that you normally change because they are they have different ages and for those who don't have such mirrors like the one i have here of course you can put a net just in case of any flies as you can see this one is an animal skin and at times when it's so cold i put this one first of course i will put it so nicely there i put on because if it's minus that's quite cold for that this is how it looks i just have to put her here and i mean in case we haven't gone outside and then she fails to sleep I bring her here and then I put her here and then I, after I lock her you can take a blanket so that she can be more warmer then you just leave her to sleep and then after some times I will hear because it's not really far from my sitting room and then so after I put her there of course I can either put my monitor on of course she's also loud she will start crying if she don't see anybody so that's where I put my two-year-old to sleep sometimes. And that's our nature over there. It's really beautiful during summer. Actually, I have two of these ones. One in my balcony and one is the one that I normally use that is just on my door there. And this one here is the one that I normally use more often. It's the same color. All right, guys. So now I'm off to go outside because... When it's winter in Finland, we normally put very warm clothes in, both for me and my baby. When we are going outside, for example, it might be to church or to the post or to the market. So we make sure we are warm enough. And you know how a tod you know how to dress a toddler can be very difficult. One minute they want to go to the toilet, one minute they are playful. And that time you have an appointment, you need to go somewhere. So that one makes it difficult, so I'm coming, wait. And that means when you are outside, I need to have enough clothes for her. I need to have something for her that is fun to carry, like a toy or a doll. Uh, I can have something like something that she can eat, something small that she can eat. Maybe when we are in the bus and just to keep her busy. Because when it's cold, you can't take out your gloves outside and eat something unless it's a plus. Or unless, unless it's a plus and it's, it feels warm, then that works well. Alright, before I leave guys, I normally put things just down here so that I don't forget with anything. I make sure I have her dolls, but of course she takes one outside. Because sometimes she forgets and they, can, they fall down. And so this is the one that she puts on before she puts on the jacket and she has the cape and the gloves of course she has two types of gloves they are so good they are waterproof so she can play on the snow how she loves and this is the cape and this is the jacket and this is the outside trouser and those are the shoes I normally put outside socks after wearing her stockings I just want her to have extra socks and and ready to go out and of course I have my bag here I've already packed everything and these are also mine those are the leg warmers these are mine I make sure I have my key ready in my bag just in case nobody's at home and so let's do it you cannot imagine that it's raining one minute it's spring the other minute it's snowing I don't know if you guys can look at it. Oh my, it's snowing. We thought that we are in the spring. 
but yeah snowing hopefully this is the last snow we are experiencing before spring begins but i think we are in spring but it looks like it's a real winter that is coming back anyway so now we are heading to 